All right, so this weekend I went to go see The Joker, Folly Ado, otherwise known as The Joker 2, and here are my thoughts. Now, before we get into this review, I just wanna get this out of the way. I'm probably gonna get into some spoilerish territory. I mean, I'm not gonna go super hard on the spoilers, but if you are particularly sensitive to that, maybe go watch the movie first and then you can enjoy the review. But if you're someone who really just doesn't care about any of the spoilers in this movie, well, you're welcome to stick around. So this is gonna be kind of like a strange review for me, and I guess it fits the bill because the movie is kind of strange. On YouTube where nuanced opinions go to die, where it's either crap or it's great or you're a fence sitter, I'm gonna just be completely honest about how I felt about the movie. Now on one hand, I felt the movie was kind of boring, the musical numbers were a bit awkward and just kind of felt like they weren't needed at points, and ultimately the ending I don't know, it just wasn't really satisfying to me. But on the other hand, the presentation of the movie is really good. It's exactly in line with the first Joker. Joaquin Phoenix, much as you'd expect, is phenomenal. Lady Gaga was good as well. And there's even some other actors in there that I remember from other movies. I can't exactly remember the actor's name, but I know one of the guards is from the Harry Potter movies. And I thought he did a pretty good job as well. And I felt that there definitely was an underlining message that depending on how you feel, it might be seen as as a really interesting message and compelling. So for me personally, I didn't really like the movie, but I also don't think it was a bad movie. I mean, this isn't like Morbius where I came out of it and I was like, I didn't enjoy the movie. And yeah, that just definitively was not a well-made movie. It's just more of, I just don't think the things they tried to execute really worked for me and ultimately I didn't feel satisfied. By the way, I hope you're enjoying this review so far and if you like the video, don't forget to like the video and if you enjoy a channel that's run by a fan who makes videos for fans talking about Marvel, DC, Star Wars or any similar pop culture, this might be the channel to subscribe to. The premise of the movie essentially is the Joker, Arthur Flick, is in jail for the crimes he committed in the first Joker and he's gonna go to trial with the DA being Harvey Dent. The interesting premise for me was the fact that I can't remember the last time I saw a movie about a villain, an, an iconic villain at that, being in jail and then going to trial. I mean, that alone was kind of an interesting premise. There were moments in this movie where I was like, this is quite a concept. This is unique. I am interested to see how it transpires. And then there was the elements of the musical, which I understand what Todd Phillips was trying to accomplish with them. The Joker's in jail. He's not able to be the kind of Joker that we're used to seeing. He's very limited by what he can do. He's pretty much treated like crap. He's like malnourished. He's super skinny. He meets Harley Quinn while in jail because he goes to like this musical therapy class and they strike up some sort of connection. Really, she's just a fan of the Joker and he kind of falls in love with her. So the musical's there to kind of serve as that fantasy. Like he is the Joker. He's always, you know, painted in makeup and it's showing the side of him that's confident, like the duality between Arthur Flick and the Joker. And I definitely felt like that's what the goal of that was. It was meant to give him the opportunity to be that character that we knew from the first movie, in spite of the fact that he is essentially a prisoner with really barely any options. I kept thinking, is he gonna break out? And they kind of tease that a little bit. And then there's other moments where he kind of gets out, but ultimately he gets put right back in. I felt like that was the issue that I personally had with the movie. It was kind of the issue that the other people that I came to see the movie with mentioned. It just felt like, like the movie was setting up for something to happen for him to have a moment, but ultimately it just never quite comes to fruition. So really you get this movie where it's kind of boring at times, you know, cause he's in prison. The musicals feel a little bit awkward and the movie never quite reaches that point. Now the message of this movie seems to me like the Joker is a symbol, much like Batman, anyone can be the Joker. And you know, really this was just a disturbed individual who probably had split personality disorder, just started this cult following that really transcended him in Gotham City. I think people that accept that as the premise of this movie and didn't really go into it expecting really anything more than that, I think the movie does kind of have a deep message. But ultimately, Arthur Fleck's journey is just a bit disappointing. It's a bit underwhelming, I guess. For me personally, 
Uh, when it comes to a score for the Joker, I kind of went back and forth in my mind because once again, like I said, it was a movie that I particularly didn't enjoy, but I don't think it was a bad movie. I just think it was a movie that I just, it, it just did not hit the notes for me. It was not satisfying. I'm going to go with a two out of five. I was struggling between that and a 2.5 out of five just to acknowledge the production, the great acting. I, I just don't have a desire to see it again. It wasn't really a movie that had me thinking super deep afterwards. Mostly I just felt disappointed. So I gotta go with the two out of five. Anyways, let me know down in the comments, did you see the Joker folly ado? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know either way, I'd love to read it. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, my name is Eric Rosas and I hope you all have a fantastic day.